You know how some real hardcore otakus tell you that there's an unspoken three episode rule? I remember telling my wife with Trigun, Death Note, and Dragon Ball, Hun, give it three episodes before you say whether or not you want to keep watching. This is one of those. We start off in the Shinigami realm, where things are dark. You can tell all the Shinigami are really, really bored. Enter the Death Note. We are given some lines of scripture on Earth and a radio broadcast of how awful the world is. Both Ryuk and Light have the same thought. This world sucks. Light finds the Death Note and studies it. He first passes it off as nothing, but he finds himself intrigued. After a couple of tests, he comes to a conclusion. All those who are evil shall die. After five days, Ryuk decides to go to the human world, and Light Yagami has already killed so many people. Light and Ryuk meet face to face for the first time. Although startled, Light accepts Ryuk very quickly. We learn that Light cannot go to heaven, nor can he go to hell after he dies. Not only that, but all who use the Death Note are destined to die a terrible, horrible, fearful death. As a matter of fact, Ryuk points out, when it's Light's time to pass, Ryuk will write Light's name into his death note. Also, apples. Apples are life. After a very interesting realization, Ryuk decides to tell Light that Light wasn't chosen, he wasn't special, it was some universal accident. Light wasn't picked out by design or by any sort of grace. Unknowing to Ryuk, the Death Note fell into Light's hands simply because it did. Ryuk was bored with his rotting world, as is Light. Light wrote so many names into the Death Note to make the world a better place after all. Someone has to do it. After a second viewing of this episode, it really drives home that Light, his moral dilemma with the Death Note and killing people is resolved very shortly. And he's made up his mind very quickly what he wants to do with the Death Note. He wants to essentially end all crime. And one of the most interesting things Ryuk tells him is, once you've killed all the bad people, doesn't make you the last bad person? It's interesting because Light says, well, no. He doesn't see it that way because he's a hard-working individual. I think at this point, you can tell that his morals and his ideals are a bit skewed, which is why this anime isn't for everyone. You're actually seeing the anime from the eyes of the antagonist, which is a really unique approach. You're rooting for the bad guy. So take the first episode with a grain of salt, get through the first three episodes, and you might find this one to be really awesome. And of course, if you don't want to watch the anime, you can watch my little tidbits, but understand my reviews are a short recap of the episode and really uh, just a little bit of information on how I feel on it. If you really do like these animes, support the official release because you're not getting the full story from me. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed my review and I'll see you in the next exciting episode of whatever Brain Candy has going on next time.